Hi. <laughs> so it's been a few months, give or take, since I last posted a video. So I kind of wanted to talk about <sighs> this is a really hard to topic for me. Uh, I really wanted to talk about slut shaming. Now, obviously, I am female. And a lot of you who are male might view my opinion as biased because for some reason they seem to do that on the internet. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. I think slut shaming is absolutely ridiculous. Um, personally, I don't give two fucks who you're dating and sleeping with. If you want to sleep with a million people, go right ahead. As long as you're happy and you're healthy, I don't give a shit. Sorry about the language. Um, it... It's really frustrating seeing on places like Tumblr and Facebook and YouTube and all these other sites of these people doing things and people getting all up in arms like, Oh my god, why were they drinking? It's their fault that they got raped or they're both at fault. No. In my opinion, the person who's at fault for raping is the rapist. Wow. Imagine that. <laughs> uh, I know that seems crazy to think about, but... If you're assuming that women must protect themselves in order to prevent getting raped, then you're also by extension assuming that all men rape. And to me, that is just as problematic as slut shaming. Because then you're telling men that you're a monster and that you will not be able to control your desires and your body and you are just an incident waiting to happen. That you are inevitably going to rape a woman or a man. Because it goes both ways. Now, to me, that is almost as insidious as growing up being told that I need to watch what I dress, I need to make sure that I'm modest, I need to make sure that I'm going out at the proper times, and I'm protecting myself, and I'm doing X, Y, and Z in order to prevent being in a compromising situation. Compounded on that, I grew up being told that I need to save myself for marriage, that people don't want to date women that have had sex and aren't virgins anymore. We're placing a premium on virginity. And to me, that is infinitely more problematic. Because then you're telling women that they have a worth not based on who they are as people, but based on who, what their status is as a body. Physical object. That they can be used and abused and told things and that that's okay. Now, I understand that by posting this video I'm going to get hateful comments and I'm going to get people telling me to shut the fuck up and go back home. And you know what? I don't care. You can swear at me. You can tell me I'm ugly, that you'd want to do me, that I deserve to be raped. And that's the thing about being a woman on YouTube is you run the risk of getting those comments. And to me, that's disgusting. The fact that I have to be afraid that I might get that by posting a video that isn't funny or isn't just, you know, lighthearted about books. I'm sorry. That's unacceptable. But people like Philip DeFranco, they can, be, they can post video, videos like that and they don't have to worry about that because they aren't the subject involved. And for some reason, it's threatening if a woman decides to stand up for herself. No more. So yeah, that's my rant. I hope you guys have all had a wonderful new year. I will be posting more videos in the future. If you have suggestions for topics in the comments, please post them below. I do love you guys. Thank you for being subscribed to this channel, regardless of the fact that I have not posted a video in so long. I love yous, and I love your faces. Yay! So yeah, I'm going to go back to my homemade London fog. I got a milk throther and oh my god, it's so good. So I've just been drinking tea like all day long. Yay! Bye guys! I hope you have yourselves a wonderful day and I will, I promise, make another video this month. <laughs>